Hey everybody, it's Alan, shortbaldandbearded.com. So a little while back, I posted a video of my very first butcher box unboxing. Uh, since then, I have cooked several of the products. Uh, I want to follow up with those real quick and let you know my opinions after uh, trying a few of these things out. So first off uh, was the free chicken wings. Okay, the promotions change almost daily with the website. So if you're looking for something, check back every now and again. If you don't really want the current promotion, keep an eye out. They're liable to change it on you tomorrow, the next day, next week. You might find something that really nudges you that little bit more towards ordering. Uh, the wings were fantastic. I cooked them on the grill both times that I made them. Uh, a little bit of hot sauce. They cooked up clean, great flavor, very juicy and tender. Uh, those were great. Okay, next after that, I cooked the pork chops on the grill. Uh, I cooked two of those uh, on the grill and actually cooked two of them in an iron skillet and baked them and used them to, uh, and actually I grilled two of the pork chops and the other two I cooked in an iron skillet and then baked in the oven after searing them. Uh, the two on the grill cooked up perfect. Some of the best pork chops I've ever had. The texture was unlike any pork chops I've ever gotten from a, from a grocery store around here. Uh, just amazing. The texture was like a steak. Uh, the second two that I put in the iron skillet and baked, I actually sliced those up really thin to make pork tacos with, uh, with some low carb wraps. Same thing, just, just delicious. Bit into them, they didn't pull apart, they weren't stringy, just tender and juicy. Great pork chops, probably the best thing in the box that I've gotten so far. Uh, next I have the boneless skinless chicken breast. I uh, cooked uh, several of those on the grill as well. Uh, same thing, tender, juicy. The only issue I had with that was that the actual vacuum seal package had a puncture in it. Made a little bit of a mess in my fridge when I defrosted it, but you know, that, that could have likely been me handling it. Not a big deal. Um, so next was the ground beef. We made a blue cheese beef skillet with that. Uh, cooked up clean. I think the fat content was 8515. Uh, and I would say it was probably leaner than that. Uh, great flavor to that, very tender. I haven't cooked the steaks or the roast yet, uh, those are actually in the in the fridge right now, but definitely I'll, the meats were some of the best I've ever had, and that's the truth. Great, the pork chops were amazing, the beef was great, the chicken tender, oh man, it's all good. So yeah, just as a follow-up, Butcher Box, great value for my personal opinion. We've had a lot of really great success with the meals we've cooked with it. Uh, so if it's the kind of thing you're looking for, you're looking for some nice grass-fed, hormone-free, uh, clean meats. You know, the price is not bad if you compare it to your local stores. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for the bottom of the barrel cheap meat products, yeah, you're going to be able to beat that at your local grocery store. But do some creepy stuff to your meat uh, in these feed farms and things. It's just not good. And these all come from uh, small farms, and they're all clean meat. Uh, really high quality stuff. Very happy with it thus far. Uh, if you try it, let me know. Uh, drop a comment at the bottom of the page. Uh, in the meantime, Follow me on my page on Facebook, Short Bald and Bearded. Uh, same thing, I've got a channel on YouTube. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Also check out the site, shortbaldandbearded.com. Thanks again for your time. See you next time.